Welcome to Health Quickie. My name is Desiree. I'm the naturopath and founder of Health Quickie. And this is my first live stream ever. So this is very exciting for me. I really don't know how to use the technology, but I'll figure it out as we go. At least I could press the get started button. So that was a good first step. So today um, I want to talk to you. I'm actually uh, 39 weeks pregnant and plus two days. So I'm actually due in five days, which is very exciting. And the baby will be coming any minute basically. So I might even give birth on this Facebook live stream. Just kidding. Okay. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about um, the different things that I've been doing in the naturopathic healthy world to sort of maintain my pregnancy and make sure that baby is nourished properly and make sure that I have a lot of energy to go about my days. So um, it's wonderful. I'm still running around and uh, doing things as usual. Of course, a little bit more out of breath and a little bit more fatigued, but I think the things that I've been doing have helped to maintain and I wanted to share that with you in case you are pregnant or thinking of getting pregnant and want to know what best things you could use for your own pregnancy. So I'm going to showcase them one by one. Ready? So I'm going to start in order of importance um, for what I think is important. I'm going to show you a couple brands. Some of the brands are not necessarily the best brands out there, but it happens to be what I have right now. As you can imagine, as a naturopath, I get a lot of products from different companies, um, but I am very selective about what I use normally, especially in my practice. So I'm going to start with a healthy microbiome, a healthy microflora. So I think this is so important for so many different reasons. First of all, you want to establish a good, healthy microflora. This is all of the good, positive, beneficial bacteria in your own gut so that you can avoid all of the digestive problems that come along with pregnancy because they really do all the gas, bloating, um, you know, abdominal distension, softer stools, things just aren't the same. It's, it's basically a hormonal thing that happens in your body that changes your digestion and that can really affect a lot of women while they're pregnant. So um, the first thing to maintaining a good healthy gut and a good healthy microflora is taking a probiotic. So of course you can consume probiotic foods, which is hugely beneficial. Um, that's another topic because it's uh, very extensive to go along and explain all the different probiotic foods, but you can take um, a probiotic supplement. So this one happens to be the one, it's a very basic standard one by Natural Factors. It's a double strength acidophilus and bifidus. So bifidus you need in order to colonize the colon, the large intestine, and acidophilus you will need in order to colonize the small intestine. So you wanna make sure that both the large and small intestine are well taken care of. So that is a nice way to get your probiotics in. You could take two, three in the morning before breakfast. The next thing you want, this is another form of probiotic. So this is um, a fermented whey product. This is actually going to help to stabilize the pH levels at the different levels of the gut. This is a very unique product. It's by um, a European company called Vogel and it's called Mulcosan. So they've come out with this amazing berry flavor. If you can see up close, which makes it much more um, tolerable to take because the plain one doesn't taste so great. So again, this is sort of like a fermented drink that you can take in the morning to stabilize all the different pH levels of your intestinal tract at different levels because each level of your gastrointestinal tract needs a different pH in order to function optimally. So for example, the stomach has to be at a very high pH level, a very acidic level in order to start breaking down the different components of your meal, such as the proteins, the carbs, the fats, the sugars. So this is really, really important. It's a very unique product. So we've talked about colonizing the gut with healthy um, products that are going to help to elevate your intestinal microflora. Okay. Very important. Foundational as well. So you want to, you know, you want to, um, stabilize what's going on in your own digestive tract. You want to colonize your own gut with good bacteria and you want to pass good bacteria onto your baby. So this is going to help to strengthen your baby's immune system and strengthen his or her defenses. And it's also going to make sure you have healthy bacteria 
in your vag uh, vaginal canal so that when the baby comes out, the baby can uh, be colonized with your good bacteria as well. So important. Next is I'm not traditionally um, a huge fan of taking a multivitamin, but for pregnancy, I actually believe it's a good, secure thing to take a prenatal multivitamin, just to make sure that you have all of your vitamins and minerals in place in case you're not eating properly, in case you feel nauseous and you're losing a lot of your nutrition, at least you make sure that you're replenishing with that. So I have two options. First of all, um, this is a company, I'll come up close again, that I'm a pretty big fan of. It's called New Chapter Organics. This is their perfect prenatal multivitamin. So the reason I'm a fan of this product is because what these guys do is they actually take whole food nutrition and ferment it so that you have a bioavailable multivitamin that's actually well absorbed in your gut. If you take the recommended three a day, you'll have enough iron, for example, you'll have enough of the folate, which is the um, bioavailable active form of folic acid. You shouldn't really take synthetic folic acid, but you'll have the folate in here. Um, as well as a whole range of multivitamins and multiminerals that you bar your body needs. And then it also has some uh, plants and herbs that are really beneficial for pregnancy, such as red raspberry leaf and nettle. So this is a really good multivitamin. Da -da -da. What's nice about this one is that you don't feel nauseous. You don't feel like you want to throw up. Um, the other synthetic multivitamins kind of make you want to barf. And that's not a good thing to do when you're pregnant. You need to maintain and, you know, withhold all of your nutrients. So this is a good one to take because of the fermentation that it goes through and the fact that it's composed of whole food nutrition. So I'm a fan of this one. If you're feeling like you have super low energy, lethargic, tired, sleeping throughout your pregnancy, too much, napping too much, resting too much, this is a great product. It's a European product as well. It's called BioStraf. You're supposed to take six a day of these tablets. You can either get it in tablet form, tincture form, or a syrup form. I like these because they're great for on the go. You can stick them in your purse. You're supposed to have six a day, so two, two, and two. Two for breakfast, two for lunch, two for dinner. The dose is quite high. This is a product that is actually incredible. It's a plasmalized yeast product. So again, it's a, it goes through a fermentation process and through the production of the yeast, it actually yields a whole um, spectrum of beneficial vitamins and minerals. It's especially high in the B-complex vitamins and the trace minerals. So this is fantastic for helping to elevate your energy levels. Biostraf is, is used in Europe. Um, for different stages of life. So for example, children will use it for attention deficit disorder, helping them to focus and really learn well in class and focus in. So for ADD, it's wonderful. Um, for the middle-aged person who wants more energy, who doesn't need more energy these days, everyone gets so tired and fatigued by 3 p.m. and experiences that crash. And that's when we tend to grab for different types of um, sugary, carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates, different, um, you know, empty nutrient poor foods that are going to help to elevate our blood sugar levels, but then they're going to crash again and make us tired again. And that's when we need more of that junk to sort of fuel the fire, but it's not the right way to fuel the fire. So this is a more sustained way of uh, getting your energy level up. So it's the BioStraf. It's also used in convalescence. It's used for um, the elderly population. So if for older people who, you know, have digestive problems, they're not absorbing their nutrition properly. This is also very bioavailable. So the cells will uptake the nutrients very easily and, and make sure that your body gets what it needs because it's, it's not like a synthetic supplement, which is really hard for the body to break down. So that's Biostraf. The last thing I would recommend is taking an omega-3 essential fatty acid. Okay, so I'll just bring it up here again. Many people are very deficient in omega-3s. We are very abundant. We tend to be in our North American society, in our North American diet, abundant in omega-6 
fatty acids. These are highly inflammatory. And the reasons we have so much of them is because people are using poor quality oils for cooking. So people are using um, genetically modified corn oil, soy oil, you know those big jugs of vegetable oil? Stay away from those. Corn, soy, all of the genetically modified crops, you don't want to be using those oils for cooking because they create inflammation in the body. Instead, you want to move towards the oils that are very rich in omega-3 essential fatty acids. And a good way of doing this is by consuming cold water fish in your diet, but also taking a concentrated fish oil supplement. Now the oils are so important because they're going to help to, first of all, nourish your body, nourish your cells. Every cell is coated in a layer of fat, um, our brain cells, and then the development of the baby's brain. So, so important as the baby grows in your body. Uh, so the baby needs to, to develop all of the organs, all of the bones, all of the, the muscles and the tissues and the eyes. And it's incredible. It's a miracle. So um, baby needs healthy fats. So by you consuming healthy fats through a supplement form, great. But also, I'm a huge fan of, you know, healthquickie.com. You can check out the recipes. Huge fan of consuming your nutrition through food, big time. Much more important than taking through supplements. Okay, I just want to make that very clear. So, um, of course, you want to consume fatty foods, foods that are rich in omega-3 essential fatty acids. So you can consume uh, coconut oil, hemp seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, um, again, cold water fish, as we said, and of course, our leafy green vegetables, also rich in omega-3 essential fatty acids. So, and so beneficial in so many other ways because of the chlorophyll and the fiber and the um, ability to neutralize and, um, you know, uh, uh, balance our pH levels in our body and make us more alkaline instead of more acidic. So, so important to include your leafy green vegetables um, as much as you can in your meals. So whether it's through a smoothie or just sauteed greens or a green salad, lots of leafy green vegetables. Last thing I wanted to show, um, this is a really neat company. Can you guys see? Earth Mama Angel Baby. Earth Mama Angel Baby Organics. So um, these guys are really cool. They make a lot of uh, natural body care products for baby. When baby comes, you don't want to be using synthetic cosmetics, body care products on baby's delicate, fragile, sweet, susceptible body. You want to use natural, healthy, organic products, okay? Made from, derived from plants only. So these guys make a beautiful range of baby products, but they also make products for mama. So they make products for tearing, for sits baths, um, for stretch marks, but they also make these awesome teas. So this box is really neat because it happens to be uh, like a tea sampler. So you have a, a morning tea for those who experience morning sickness, vomiting in the morning, especially during the first trimester, hopefully only during the first trimester. Um, then you have peaceful mama tea. So if you're feeling anxious or stressed or nervous, anything like that, you can take a bag of that tea. And then the third trimester tea, which is really neat because this starts to get your uterus ready and your body ready for giving birth. So it's all really strategically planned out in terms of the herbs that they use in their combinations. And then there's the mama's tummy tea. So again, they understand that mama has, <laughs> can have some digestive problems, some gas bloating, as we talked about, there's some spearmint, chamomile, and along with digestive problems usually comes a nervous belly. So they also include um, very uh, soft, calming herbs in there as well as digestive herbs to make sure that your tummy is feeling good and that your nervous system is feeling good because those two are highly connected. So that's the Earth Mama Angel Baby Mama to Be Tea Sampler. So that's quite a few products. You don't want to go overboard with the products. You really want to make sure that your diet nutrition is very, very uh, healthy while you are pregnant and enjoy your pregnancy. It's a beautiful time. It's really a um, miraculous time, really. What happens to your body is like mind-blowing uh, every second. It doesn't, it doesn't stop being mind-blowing at any moment. 
So enjoy your pregnancy and I wish you all the best. And I'm going to be coming out with lots of new, exciting additions to healthquickie.com, different courses, different videos, very, very exciting stuff. I do focus and specialize in private naturopathic consultation, but I really also specialize in helping people with digestive trouble and digestive disturbance. So I really uh, help a lot of people with irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel diseases, uh, really just get their digestion back in track. And I find that about 90%, I would safely say 90% of clients that come to me do suffer from um, a lot of gas and bloating, indigestion, heartburn, reflux, um, constipation, diarrhea, alterations between those two, which can drive someone totally nuts, um, and just uh, an unhealthy gut bowel. So I've decided to focus my practice on that because without optimizing the health of the digestive tract, a lot of other things can go off balance, such as your immune system, mental health, um, anxiety, depression, nervousness, things like that. Uh, very, very tied to digestive health. Even becoming overweight can be tied to an unhealthy microflora in the gut. So very important to heal digestion. So that is the foundation of my practice. If you are suffering from uh, irritable bowel syndrome, I have a fantastic course coming up. It's going to be a combination of a, a modulated video and informational course that is going to take you from A to Z all the foundational steps that you need to heal your gut. So really anyone could benefit from this program. And uh, the recipes are amazing, the information is fantastic, the videos are fun, and it's going to be a fantastic course. So that'll be coming out soon and you'll see it on my page, so stay tuned. So guys, have a fantastic day and I hope you enjoyed today's first live stream. Ah! And uh, I'll be back to live stream some more, it's been fun.